What's going on everyone, Jack here from Half Chrome, and this Coconi uh, 3D printer showed up today and I'm fairly intrigued. Now, I actually kind of hate 3D printers. They're a pain in my butt. I've got two of them here, I've got two of them at work, and they're always problematic. There's always some troubleshooting you have to do. In fact, I made a video all about the things I don't like about 3D printers. You're gonna wanna check that out. But anyway, uh, this one intrigued me because it's supposed to be plug and play. Actually, I think somewhere on the box, it says you can get printing in five minutes. Where the heck is that? Found it right here. It says start printing in five minutes. So we're gonna put that to the test. That would be awesome because these things can be a headache. Now this Coconi reminds me a little bit of the Bamboo Labs printer that I have at work mostly because it's enclosed. So uh, let's see what we got in the box. I just watched a Bears game, so I'm in an especially terrible mood. So let's see what we got here. Instructions. I wanna share this process with you, but I also wanted to speed up some parts for you so you didn't have to go through the whole thing with me. I mean, it's kind of, already built for me so that's really nice i do like that it's already set up it's got a camera in here pretty nice tiny bed this thing is small but if it does the job and actually use that making small things so let's put it to the test now can i really get this thing printing in five minutes it is two after six all right let's see We'll need to look at some instruction. Probably need an app. So let's see, I bet that's in here. Hopefully there's a QR code or something that'll get me going. Your manual, filament, I assume there's filament in there. Boom, QR code, got it. Let's scan it. It is the Coconi 3D app. Come on. Come on, looks like I'm gonna have to register, log in, create a thing, iOS download, okay. Get, We're downloading here, face ID. All right, that's downloading. While it's downloading, let's talk about what we actually have. Okay, so the box is telling me these things. We've got uh, printing up to 100 millimeters a second, silent less than 20 dBs. There's three different options. I went with the white, there's a green and an orange. Uh, compact, yeah, this thing is tiny. Uh, smart app control, remote monitoring, integrated 720p camera. Uh, it'll create a time lapse. Uh, looks like they have an exclusive model gallery and a safe design. So, uh, yeah, app is ready. All right, let's plug this thing in. Open up the app, I'm gonna probably have to log in. And I'm gonna have to power this thing up. All right. So, plug her in. Let's find a power source. All right. Set it right about there so you guys can see it. Click to connect to printer. All right. I agree. All right, I got a Google login, so that's nice. Continue. My device. Add a device. EC2, right? That's what this guy is. Get started. Like to use Bluetooth, sure. All right, power on and wait. Connect the power and press the start button. The white light of the dice will flash. When it stops flashing, it will be twice. Where's the start button? Let's turn it off and turn it on. Let's see what happens there. All right, so I'm pressing the long pressing the network button on the back here. It's a little red button. Looks like that. I'm supposed to wait until it stops flashing, but it's still flashing. So I just gotta, I'm just gonna wait until it's not flashing. Okay, now it's not flashing. Now I'm pressing the red button. Okay, it beeped. Turn the machine. All right, connect Bluetooth. 
go to I'm in my Bluetooth settings choosing the Kona Kai clicking pair it's connected all right now I'm going back connect Bluetooth all right now I'm entering my Wi-Fi <sighs> it's doing a countdown from a hundred it's not showing me like Wi-Fi options so I just have to like manually type in my network that's weird but okay that's what I'm doing it's got this 99 second countdown why that's so weird connecting please wait five four three two one oh no the orange indicator is in the Wi-Fi password is incorrect what the orange light flashes the network is not supported so it doesn't connect to 5g but I'm not connecting to my 5g I'm connecting to my 2.4g remain problems comma contact customer service I think that's what I might have to do so we're not gonna get this thing printing in five minutes that is very clear connected Ooh. okay all right all right all right um, we're doing okay here now what okay so I can see firmware versions I'll go ahead and start recording my screen so you can see what I'm looking at here should have done that earlier all right my device now what my device I want to print um, I got filament okay 100% printer maintenance okay cool my models no oh, models model gallery ooh they said they have things what all right let's go to the menu let's go to this Quick print, that's what I want. Browse a model. Okay. Welcome to creation space. Start to create home. Yes. All right. Um, what do I want to click? Create what we got here. Import models. Oh man, this is, uh, this is complex. Three after modeling. Take photos of real human from the front. Capture. I'm gonna take a photo of me. So eventually I learn you need a uh, okay. blank background and you no hat on model. your head and then it'll Start do modeling. the job. Can I make a print myself? We're not making clones, just little caricatures. All right. Let's see what else we got here. Avoid wearing hats. Object modeling. Ooh, this is... I am excited. We're going to try this some more. Let's try a picture of me without that. So my problem here is the busy background behind my head, actually. I'll figure that out later. All right, so it's modeling my face. That's kind of cool. And it is cool. I'll show you some results where it actually worked. Three different models later. All right, so this thing has some merit, I think. I'm excited to play around with this app. I'm definitely going to have to mess around before I fully understand what's happening. But... Uh... Yeah, it looks like it's got some really cool features. So I can I can model objects. So I can take 20 to 300 images of a an object and then it will overlap. Like 3D scans, that's cool. Like so skip ahead that. and I'll show you that is all really about cool. Uh, so I'll definitely have to try that. Looks like it's going to have to be pretty darn small though for it to fit in this thing halfway there so yeah the bed size is probably the biggest That's limiting cool. factor on this machine right. it's small which means you're only going to be printing small things uh, which actually I found that's what I usually do modeling failed okay whatever we're gonna skip this we'll try it again later all right let's just go back to create once you kind of understand the app, it is actually pretty darn intuitive. It's really easy, better than a lot of software and slicers and things. It just kind of space. takes all of that out of your hands and makes it simple print for you. Time short? Does that mean print? OK. 
Okay, so we're loading. And there aren't really a whole lot of parameters scale you can change on these models. Nice. Really, you can scale them up or scale them down. That's about it. Select the printer. Okay. Supports no precision medium view printing cost. Let's start printing. So after this initial print, I'll share my experience about using this thing for a while. All right, so it looks like we're going. Um, I mean, that was less than 20 minutes, so still pretty solid. Uh, it's preheating. This thing's just going to print, and uh, we'll see how it does. Uh, I'll check back in, and it doesn't say. Expect one hours and four minutes. All right, so I'll check back in about an hour. Okay, so I'm back, and I want to share my experience with the Kokoni uh, EC1 printer. Uh, I was able to print a handful of different things, and actually this is literally the easiest 3d printer i've ever used so maybe i didn't get this thing printing in five minutes but it was printing in less than 20 and that was even with me just kind of fiddling around trying to understand different things in the app if i would have just picked something random and gone yeah i'd be i would have been printing in less than 10. like i've spent hours putting 3d printers together trying to understand uh, trying to decipher manuals things like that this is definitely the easiest one it's all in one it's small it's compact it's light i could take this thing with me if i needed to that's really cool uh, all these things that i printed here came out of this without issue right all i it's really nice to have a printer that just kind of works out of the box i didn't have to tinker with anything and really you can't there aren't a whole lot of features inside of the app to change settings like I, di I didn't have an option to change temperature or um infill stuff right so uh it's kind of nice in a way and you know if it's working awesome uh, but only prints pla and they recommend their pla there are a bunch of different things uh, inside of the app that you can print. I printed this little bulldog, I printed this little vase, uh, but they also have that uh, avatar 3D modeling. Uh, let's see, I've got uh, one of me, right? So you basically take a picture, one picture, and it makes this little model of you. Is that, is that accurate? It's close enough, right? Um, I've got one of my daughter here, um, and uh, I've got one of Chris, so why why not? I mean, it was super fun to, to mess around with. Um, but you aren't just limited to the, the modeling um, or the built-in stuff, right? I've got my little uh, Vader pen holder here, and I got this off of Thingiverse. And uh, you can kind of see, here's kind of a limitation of that. So yeah, um, he's smaller, uh, but the head and the body were two different pieces. And it scaled the body down so that it would fit in here. Now, this has a smaller bed. Um, it's basically, it's 100 by 100 uh, millimeters by 58 millimeters high. That's just shy of 4 by 4 by like 2 and a half, 2 and a quarter inches or so. So um, it is a smaller area to work with. So, yeah, so it scaled the body, but it didn't scale the head because they were two different pieces. I could have scaled them. Uh, I could have scaled it also, but I didn't. I don't know, maybe that's kind of fun uh, that he has a giant head, I, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so it doesn't have all of the tinkering things that some of the other ones do, but that's to keep it simple. And that's really where this thing shines. This is the easiest 3D printer I've ever used. The app is intuitive, it's really nice. Um, there's a camera in here that you can access through the app uh, so you can check on your print. You get basically five second snippets of where it's currently at, which is cool. So you do have to connect this thing to your Wi-Fi and you have to have a 2.4 gig Wi-Fi in order for that to work. It doesn't work, doesn't connect to 5G and you don't use an SD card. So that's different than a lot of different models. They also have a feature where you can kind of take a bunch of pictures and upload um, like a 3D model scan. That's kind of in beta. I'll give them some time to develop it before I say it doesn't work, uh, but it's currently not the best. Anyway, who is this for? It's for someone that just wants a simple, easy to use, small and compact 3D printer. Um, it is not for the tinker. I think this would be a great gift for a kid that's looking to get into 3D modeling and printing. It's, it's really a great big, Inner 3D printer. Um, you just kind of have to know that the size of it is is limited, right? You're not going to be printing large things um, just because it is so darn small. I mean, you could definitely take this thing with you. Um, you know, if you're going somewhere and you know you want to 3D print some things, maybe you want to print some chess pieces. I, I don't know, but fun little tool, 
definitely the easiest 3D printer I've used, and the app is also pretty darn intuitive. If you're interested in one of these, or maybe you want to learn more about 3D printing, we've got a handful of 3D printer uh, videos down below, why I like them and why I don't as well. So make sure you check those out. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. Good luck with your 3D printing.